Hello everybody and welcome to more jokey jokey Last episode we met and did some poem stuff and now we're here And I'm honestly pretty bored of this game like I think I'm, I'm gonna be kind of fast in this episode Because yeah I mean the last episode was just way too slow and the game's being slow I wanna get to the good part, the part everybody talks about You know? <laughs> okay yeah so yeah, I'm, I'm uh, yeah we're, we're reading we're, we're entering the place we're now uh, we're back with Sayori. <laughs> also, uh, last episode there was some weird sounds. So oh wait, needed to put my quality sound recording because last time it didn't record that great. So. I editing the audio is much easier if I do it in another platform or that OBS. OBS is shit so far. <laughs> Anyways, yo Sayori! Looks like you're in a good mood today. <laughs> I'm just still not used to being in the club. <clears throat> I'm just still not used to you being in the club, that's all. I see. That's a pretty simple thing to get in you in a good mood. But I guess it's always uh, the simple things you with you anyways. Speaking of which... Speaking of which, I'm kinda hungry. So eat! Bitch, would you come with me to buy a snack? No thanks. Eh? The only thing you can eat... Is my cotton. That's not like you at all. I'm a reasons. Why don't we take a look at your first Sayori? Eh? Wait, 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 uh, Fasani. No reason, really. I just wanted to look at it. <laughs> Sorry, never is just her coin purse. She fumbles with the latch and gets it open. Then she turns it upside down and lets all the coins spin into the desk. All the small coins fall out. <laughs> I knew it. I can never tell you, Sayori. Because you're my Osan and a Jimmy now, and your, your forests do not be liked by me, because. You said no, she doesn't suck. She says her pretty cool. That's not fair. How did you even know? It's simple. If you had enough money in the first one, you would have bought a snack before coming to the club room. So either you're not hungry and wonder an excuse to take a walk, or you plan to conveniently forget that you spent all your money so that I would lend you some. But there's one more thing. You're always hungry. And soon that only leaves one option. Which you can only know if you call 1-900-3-try-might-suck-my-dick. Ah, I give up. Don't make me feel guilty. If you feel guilty, that means you just stop to feel guilty. <laughs> Your wrist suddenly jiggles. Mm? I didn't know that she was listening in. Her face is in her book, as always. And her stomach is in a very weird position, as always. I wasn't listening or anything. It, 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 it was just something in my book. Yuri, just that to let me borrow some money. That's... To give me one like that, Sayori. Besides, you should only buy what you can responsibly afford. And frankly, after putting the mysterious little stun like that, your suffering is fair enough retribution. Ah, uh, did I just... I didn't mean that. I get to absorb into my book. Ooh, she's scrolling in her skin. Uh. <laughs> I really like when you speak your mind, Yuri. It doesn't happen much, but it's a fun side of you. And an edgy one. Th that's... Th there is no way you can think that. You were right, though. I did something bad, and now I have to accept the revolution. Retribution. That! Still coming from you, Sayori. I guess there's a little devil inside all of us, isn't there? <laughs> Don't let her fool you. Sorry knows exactly what she's doing. After all, she told you guys she was bringing me to the cup before she even told me. But, but... You have come if you went for the cupcakes. They had to trick me took into making them. <laughs> come on, give me more credit than that, ja Sayori. <laughs> yeah! If nowhere, something smacks Sayori in the face and tumbles onto the desk. Ow. Oh. That was... Eh? It 
cookie. Sure enough, it was a giant cookie wrapped in, pl in plastic. So we're going this around. Is this a miracle? It's because I pay my restitution. Retribution. Actually, that one how much worth? <laughs> I was gonna give it to you. But then I heard you blab about the cupcake. I was totally worth seeing your reaction though. <laughs> Natsuki, that's so nice of you. So happy. So he hugs the cookie. How big is that cookie to be huggable? Like, if I try to hug a cookie, it's probably gonna break and it's gonna be like, What have I done to the cookie? How dare I be such a bitch to the cookie? Then I'll deserve death. You should just eat it. So he rapidly turns up in the wrapper and takes a big bite. So good. <laughs> So is selling classic hands over her mouth. We made song. <laughs> Stupid. Into a lot of. Uh, <coughs> you're going to a lot over just one cookie. Let's take a take the bite of our own cookie. Ah, that looks really good too, Natsuki. Can I try it? Jeez. Because can be choosers. But yours is chocolate. Yeah. Why do you think I gave you that one? Fine. And still, I'm really happy that you shared this one with me. <laughs> so he gets out of her seat and goes behind Natsuki okay, the monster runs around her. Jeez. Uh, I get it, I get it. Kissed in hand, Natsuki reaches up to nurture Yuri off her feet. Um. So Yuri suddenly leans down and takes a bite of Natsuki's cookie. Hey, hey! Do you seriously just do that? <laughs> but full series drops away to safety. You and I laugh as well. I don't see you're laughing. That was that. That was that. Uh, uh, I'm glad that you exist, I suppose. Jeez, you're such a kid sometimes. Monica, can you tell us you're. Eh? No secrets is around. Monica's in the, in the, in the club room. Ugh. Where's Monica, anyways? Good question. Have you, have you heard anything about her being late today? Not me. Yeah, I haven't either. Um, that's a bit unusual. Hope she's okay. Of course she's okay. She's probably just had something to do today. She's pretty popular after all. Me? Eh? You don't think she... She has a... <laughs> I'm going to be surprised. She's probably more disciple than all of us combined. Eh, that's true. Excuse me? Suddenly the dong swings open. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. <clears throat> I didn't mean to be late. Hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Eh? Monica chose the club. Monica chose the club over a boyfriend after all. You're so strong willed. <laughs> boyfriend? <clears throat> what on earth are you talking about? My acrylic really glances at me. <laughs> Never mind that. What held you up, anyways? Um, well, my last period today was steady, y'all. To be honest, I kind of just lost track of time. <laughs> that makes no sense, though. You would have the bell ring at least. You must not have heard it. She was practicing. I must not have heard it. She was practicing piano. Who is this piano? It wasn't where they play music at all, as well, Monica. Uh, I don't really. Just kind of started recently. I always wanted to learn piano. That's so cool! You play something for us, Monica? That's. Monica looked at me. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. Yay! That sounds cool. I also look forward to it. Is that so? In that case, I'll let you know this stuff. Monica smiled sweetly. Uh. I didn't mean to pressure him or anything like that. Uh, don't worry. I've been practicing a whole lot recently. Oh my god, I hate this voice! <laughs> Anyways. And I'd really love a chance to share once I'm ready. I see. In that case, best of luck! Thanks. So I don't miss anything, did I? Uh, no, not really. Just to live outside your. Uh, I just to live outside your mischievous escapade. Jun and Suki will end up complaining about to her, anyways. It looks like everyone is already settled down. Sorry, someone already finished her entire cookie. 
gives back to her book and then Suki disappeared into the closet. Ugh. You know, Tsuki hearing an explicit sigh from within the closet. Just to be annoyed by something. Approach her, kissing its hand. Wait. Does the closet door just change? You looking for something in there? Freaking Monica. She never puts my stuff back in the right spot. What's the point of keeping your collection organized if someone else is just gonna mess it up? Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. My throat is really weird. I'm probably gonna try to edit all these loud sounds from editing. I mean, I can see them from here. And like, there's just a tiny window off of the audio I can see. And I can see that I'm breaking your ears. And I'm very sorry. <laughs> and Suki is, like, Suki is like a bunch of stacked books and boxes across the shelf. Manga. You read manga, right? Um, uh, sometimes. That's one of the things where you can't admit you're really into until you figure out where the other person stands. You did, how did you know, anyways? How did you bring it up at some point? Besides, it's kind of reading in your face. What's that supposed to mean? I see. There's a long, bo there's a long volume of manga and the stacks of various books inside of one of the shelves. Curious, I pull out of the stack. Pull it out of the stack. I didn't pull it out of the stack, that's gross. There it is. Nezuki is not just out of my hand. She then turns to a box of manga and slips the volume right under the middle of the rest. Eh, uh, much better. Seeing a box and one box missing is probably the most irritating sound in the world. And now that feel. Of course, the look at the boss is admiring. Perfect girls. Just I've never heard of in my life. Probably means it's either way out of my demographic. It's simply terrible. And you wanna go? You wanna go do it? Do that through the glass of, on the door? She wants to the classroom door. Yeah, I wasn't judging anything. I didn't even say anything. It wasn't the tone of your voice. What I told you one thing, Testo. You see that this is a lesson straight from the literature. Don't judge a book by its cover. In fact, she puts the first one volume of Parfait gets in the box. I wanna show you exactly why. She was the book right into my hands. Uh, it's about the cover. It features four girls in a cover full of tires, striking animated feminine poses. It's exceedingly moy. Don't you stand there? Uh, 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 what, what's that supposed to be like? Uh, 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 uh. Took my arms and pulled me out of the closet. She then takes a seat against the wall beneath the windowsills. She was just uh, stretching her calves on the witness him. Okay, to join in. Asymmetric exercise. I, did, I, I, I quoted it all wrong. She passed on the ground next to her, sit, si signaling, me to, signaling me to sit there. Oh my god, that was soft. Wouldn't chairs be more comfortable? I take a seat. Chairs wouldn't work. We can read it the same time like that. Eh? Yeah, what's that? Ah, I guess this is to be closer together like this. Did I just say that? You made me feel weird about it. The took it across his arms and scratches an inch away from me. Sorry. I didn't expect to be sitting this close to her either. Not that I can say it's particularly a bad thing. Open the book. It's only a few seconds before Natsuki once again is inches closer, reclaiming the additional spade while she hopes I won't notice. She's appearing over my shoulder, much more eager to begin reading than I am. Wow, how long has it been since, I'm, since I read the beginning? Huh? You don't go back and flip to the old bottom seven of them? Not really. Maybe sometimes if they already finished the series. Hey, are you paying attention? Huh? I am, but that doesn't really happen yet, so I can take the same time. It looks like it's about a bunch of friends in high school. Typical I like to find the affair. I kinda grew out of these, and it's right for the, the writing to be entertaining enough to keep me up for the lack of plot. So... What should I expect from this? Is there going to be a plot? Well, obviously. You think I would enjoy something that didn't have a plot? I mean... Well, I guess I know what you're saying. That of the beginning is about simple things. Like, there's a really funny chapter with there's this with a guy in the ice cream shop. But it just helps you get to know the characters. And besides, it's still entertaining. But later on, there's all kinds of drama. That when they get into all the backstory, and when this thing, th when some of the romance starts to happen, that's really what, ma what makes it good. There's so many touching parts. Uh, is that so? 
Seems like you really know what you're talking about. Maybe I underestimated you. <laughs> hey, wait. What's that supposed to mean? Uh, and to give me a little shove. Another. Uh, and this one was a clean throwy. I just meant that I haven't yet seen you at your full power. <laughs> Good save. This chapter seems like it's about baking. You just guess, but there's a lot of baking in this manga. Well, let's take a pause for a moment. See if he doesn't want to admit something. Yeah. Why does it matter? In the end, it doesn't. I'm just curious. Since you enjoy baking too, right? That's just a coincidence. I just happened to get into baking around the same time I got into this manga. Like I would ever get into anything because she's in a manga. I feel bad for anyone that's impressionable. <laughs> Definitely not a coincidence. I guess that's been so interest in baking. Still, of all the hobbies to pick up, up from manga, that's definitely one of the better ones. Lord Dimensions is really good at it, so who am I to judge? Yeah, when we get the Natsuki scene. Oh my god, Natsuki is actually pretty small. Like, like she's smaller here. She looks a lot much smaller in this picture. Wait for, for a few minutes. I finished a couple chapters at this point. Isn't this boring for you? It's not. If the words are just watching me read, well, I I'm fine with that. If you say so. Guess for sharing something you like with someone else. I always get excited when I can't convince any of my friends to pick up series I enjoy. You know what I mean? Huh? Hmm? You don't? Um, that's not... Well, I wouldn't really know. What do you mean? Do you share your manga with your friends? Could you not drop it in? Gee. Uh, sorry. <laughs> like I could ever get my friends to read these. They just think this manga is for kids. I can't even bring it up without them being all like, Eh? You still haven't gotten out of that yet? Maybe when you punch them in the face. <laughs> I know those kinds of people. Honestly, it takes a lot of effort to find friends who don't judge. Most of friends who are also into it. I'm already kind of a loser, so I guess I gravitated toward, toward the other losers over time. But it's really harder for someone like you. Huh? Yep, that's pretty accurate. Wait, which spot? <laughs> I mean, I feel like I can even keep it on my own room. I don't even know what my dad would do if he found this. At least it's safe here in the classroom. Except Monica would just kind of a joke about it. Ugh, I just can win, can I? Well, better than the end, didn't it? I mean, here I am reading it. Well, it's not like that shows any of my problems. Maybe. Well, at least you enjoy yourself, right? So... <laughs> Jeez, that's enough. Are you gonna keep reading or what? Yeah, yeah. I flip the page. So Natsuki starts laughing. <laughs> totally forgot this happens. Natsuki puts a finger in one of the panels. You know it's my favorite chapter. You always feel a little bad for her since she's so unlucky. But it gets especially bad when... Uh... Shouldn't be talking about that yet. Just finish this chapter. Does she die? Does she does she die? Like in like, like you are gonna in this game? I actually do not know Natsuki's ending. Like I have no clue about that. I kinda have an idea a clue about Monica's. Cyrus I clearly know. And Yuri I I'm not quite sure about it. But Natsuki, not a damn clue. But it's just not used to sharing her favorite manga with friends. I can't tell why it where. I missed I missed the dialogue here. Oh my god, this is slow. Like uh this is both spikes with its time. It's star concert to her usually bossy tone. Yeah, I forgot that one. It's hard to express in words the feeling you get when connected with someone like that. Being able to provide that to Natsuki from whom is rare experience. That thought makes me smile a little to myself. Okay, woman. Yeah? You read to read these points? Oh come on! Can you tell me any worse? Sorry. I just need to make sure we have enough time. Did you do look pretty cozy over there? <laughs> eh? Ah! This is not how close she's gotten to me. She has this like stuff stuff good to off inches away from me. Alright. Alright. Guess I'll stop if it's raining so far today. Close the book and hand it towards Nasuki. You're just giving it back? Do you want to know what happens? 
Uh, yeah, but Monica just said, "Don't be a dumb. Just take it home with you." Eh? Is it really alright? I say that um, that's mostly because I really don't plan on using my spare time to read these. Well, of course. I wouldn't take forever to finish if you didn't make it home. Just finishing that one before tomorrow, so we can start the next one. And if I get spent, I'll kill you. By tomorrow. I got power to the problem so far. Might fall behind on some shows if I try to get through this. Both of necessary sacrifices that for seeing that took his enthusiastic face. But I'm even more scared of what will happen if I don't finish it. Alright then. Stand up. I turn to where I put my stuff and carefully slip the book into my back. And I'm Who should show my poem first? Because we're gonna do Monica first. I'm always gonna do Monica first, because I really like Monica. I can test though. How's the writing going? Alright, I guess. I'll take that. As long as it's not going bad, I heard that you're applying yourself. You may seem to come up with a masterpiece. <laughs> I wouldn't count on that. You never know. Why don't you show you how, what you write today? Sure, here you go. Give him a point, Monica. Alright. I like it, Esther. Really? It's a lot cuter than I expected. <laughs> oh, jeez. No, no. It kind of makes me think of something that Suki will write. She's a good writer too. So take that as a compliment. <laughs> you say so? Yep. Any chance of you living to read in the shelf? Eh. Me a long time ago. She was telling all kinds of stories in just a few simple words. The poems can be funny, daring, and even sad. Or even sad. And sometimes they're only a few lines long. They might even feel like they're, they're bringing for kids. But if you think about them, they can express a piece of the word that would apply. Oh my god! Shut the fuck up, you shit the shit the fuck up, shit the fuck up, shit the fuck up. There was a thing that I didn't see. I didn't shut the fuck up. <laughs> then you can explain to you that the word that will apply to anybody. I see. So I was saying that until he's kind of like that. Sort of. Maybe she's not an expert. But she probably wouldn't find much fear in your poems. They might be easy to write, but they are super challenging to get the meaning to. So I can see why it would be your kind of poem to explore. But anyways, you want to read my poem now? I love the way this one turned out, so I hope you do too. Alright, let's take a look. Because I was shorter than yesterday. Save me! The colors, they won't stop! Bright, beautiful colors, fashion, spawning, fiercely, red, clean beer, and then there's cookie funny, or making this noise. The noise, it won't stop! Yelling, grating, waveforms, squeaking, screeching, piercing, sound comes in tangent, like being in a charcoal, and a tube, like being a villain, in a pasta cross, in a pizza cross, an endless point of meaningless. Load me? Load me, what's load me? What's, what's load me? What's it, save me, load me? Um... It's even more rough than the last one, huh? <laughs> okay, it's just the way around. I'm sorry if you didn't like it. No, I never said that. Just kind of a thing I've never really seen before, I guess. I kind of like playing with my space in the paper. Just in where on our pretty words can totally change the mood of the poem. It's almost like magic. The way I write the lines really sh show it makes it feel like they are trying to speak over there. I see. It's still hard for me to tell what it's about, though. <laughs> Sometimes asking what a poem is about isn't the right question. A poem can be abstract or specific expression of a feeling or a conversation with the reader. So being that way, not every poem is about something. Anyways, here's a Monica writing tip of the day. Sometimes you find yourself facing a difficult decision. If that happens, don't forget to save your game. You don't know when you might change your mind or when something unexpected may happen. But is that a minimum about writing? What am I even talking about? <laughs> That's my best for today, so she just broke the fourth wall. She was like, HELLO FOURTH WALL! <laughs> Fuck that whole one. So, she's telling me to save if something important comes up. R right now, I only have one save. Cause, I mean, I can just simply skip to the text. There's a very big option for that for some reason, I suppose. So, yeah. Yes, so we're gonna try to show it to Natsuki, cause we made it for her. 
and took me to my poem. She could sense me, then back at the poem. But now, she must have read it more than once. Aren't you supposed to be bad at this? Is that a compliment? No, I mean, you know. Zuki still has to find once or once. Just speak that last day to one if she'll show me from what you showed me yesterday. That's all. Well, you said just good luck with this one. Yeah, exactly. You just got lucky, you know? Don't get used to it. You won't always manage to write poem this cute, I mean. I mean, well written, no, I mean. Ah, that's how it is, my poem is cute. No, why are you smiling? It's not like I like cute things. Yeah, my poem back towards me. <laughs> I mean, then, I said that it's not great at all. It's too cute and doki doki. I would only impress, you know, girls who like those kinds of things. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> so Nasuki is incredibly easy to see through. That's the power of Nasuki. But anyways, I'm gonna read mine now, right? Don't mind your taste. I really like it a lot, too. You probably learned something, too. Don't forget what the real pro is. <clears throat> oh, Amy likes spiders. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. Icky, wrinkly, hairy, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. She sucks. Amy a has a cute voice. Her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound on the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. One time, I hit my leg really bad. And they held me up and took me to the nurse. I tried not to let her touch me. She likes spiders. So her hands are probably gross. That's why I'm not friends with her. Amy has a lot of friends. I always see her talking to people. She probably likes a lot of talks about spiders. If your friends start to like spiders too, she's rather not friends with her. Doesn't matter if she uh, has a habit. Doesn't matter if she keeps it brighter. Doesn't matter if she does. It doesn't matter if it doesn't hurt anyone. It's gross. She's gross. The world is better off without spiders. Uh, with spider lovers. And I'm gonna tell everyone. Wow, poor Amy. You're being very mean to her. It's okay. But I suppose I can see why. I mean, I'm gonna be friends with Amy either. She likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Not bad, right? It's quite a bit longer than yesterday's. Yes, it is, but too short. I was was warming up. I hope you didn't think that was the best I could do. No, of course not. Anyways, the best is pretty straightforward at this point. I thought I have to explain it. Sometimes you can explain complicated issues with much simpler analogies. And it helps people realize how stupid they are being. Like, anyone who would agree that the subject of this poem is an ignorant jerk. Do you know people like that? Of course. So how am I preventing my... Doesn't matter. I can be everything. I can be about anything. Want it to be easy to relate to. Yeah, when has some kind of weird hobby or a guilty pressure. So I suppose people don't not like her because she likes manga. And because of her... Very weird physique defined hair. Don't mind them. So that you're afraid if people find out, they make fun of you or think less of you. That just makes people stupid. Who cares what someone likes, as long as they're not hurting anyone, it's what makes them happy. See people don't need to link to respectors for liking weird things. Well, you're definitely right. At least I can relate to that. And I'm sure a lot of other people can too. So it's the best after all. I don't like writing unless there's a good message to take away from it. Like conveying emotions is important. But I don't want to make people think, not just feel. Maybe that. I'm gonna write a good one for tomorrow too, so look forward to it. Well, this is really slow. Let's <laughs> uh, just say hurry. Oh, I like this one, this though. It has some nice feeling in it. Ah, I'm glad. I was just scratching my ear, right? Still, though, don't make it sound like you like just our phone better. Eh, I guess you caught me. Sometimes you know uh, me a little too weird for my own good. Well, so I just tried being ni to be nice about it. If I'm doing a bad job, then I'd rather just hear it. No, no. I still like this one, I promise. You know, I'm gonna lie to you, Testo. Never ever. Yeah, I guess so. What made this a poem so great compared to this one, then? Um... Man, I'm not very good at doing out if poems are good or bad. But this is... But that's why I just go with my heart. If it makes me feel things, then he must be a good person. I'm not sure that is exactly how it works. So again, I guess conveying feeling is pretty important part of this whole thing. Yeah, maybe. Honestly, I don't even know what kind of writing you like in the first place. Yeah, me neither. Ugh. Why don't you at least try giving some thought? Uh, you want to write something for me? 
That's so sweet. Yeah, right. But you're always thinking about other people. Oops. Mouse in the middle of the screen. You need to think about yourself once in a while. If you don't, you might end up just harder, just being caught at some point. Eh? Well, I don't really know what you mean, but I'll try to keep it in, in mind. Well, whatever. Anyway, let's see. Mmm. I guess I like happy poems. Wait, sometimes I like say poems too. Sometimes I like a little bit of both. There's worth that, right? What's the one I'm looking for? Bittersweet. Yeah. I like things that have a happy, that are happy, and things that are sad. Happy and sad? I see you liking something sad, Sayori. Well, I like happy the most. Something that you have a little ring on in your head. Set poem can help get that drink a little hug. Make a nice happy rainbow! Sorry, that's unexpectedly poetic. Hey, it is? Now I'm gonna put on express myself after all. Thanks, Disto. I should write that down then. You can read my poem now, okay? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Bottles. I puff up my skull like the lid of a cookie jar. It's a secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little bottles of sunshine all rubbing together with a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out, so I'm tingly. But there's no time to waste. Put it out the bottom to keep it safe. And I put the bottle on the shelf with all of the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in the bottles are in a row. My connection makes me lots of friends. Each bottle is try to make amends. Sometimes my friend feels in the way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. And after nine, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. Deeper and deeper my fingers go. This part in the dark cave is coming the secret hiding in the nook crannies. In the nooks and crannies. Digging with dignity, scrubbing with and Digging and demons scraping and scraping. I'm better at it reading. I blow dust of my bottle caps. It doesn't feel like damp elapsed. My empty shelf could use more. My friends look through my lock get front door. Finally all dawn I open up and knew my friends come. And they come in such a hurry. If they want my bottles that much, I barely put them out of the shape. One with the bottle. Holding them out to reach an every frame. It's in every bottle. But every time I let one go, shadows again the tile between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in shards all over the floor. They're supposed to be my friends, my friends who are smiling. They're all shining, grinning something. While I hear is echo, 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 inside my head. I... Do you not like this poem? Holy oh, crap! Sorry, did you really write this? Of course I did. Yeah, that was really gonna write the best poem ever. Yeah, but... I mean, I didn't expect something like this coming from you. I thought me a whole lot. And it sucks, I... Really don't like that poem. It's too long and too messy and too too random. I don't know. I mean, it has some meaning. I kind of get the meaning, but I don't know. I guess I don't like it. I haven't really in touch with my feelings recently. I see that. Almost kind of creepy. Creepy? Well, not exactly. Maybe because I'm not used to being cheerful. Well, never mind. Think too hard about it. The point is, it came out good, so you should be proud of it. Yeah, thanks. I feel like, feel like I want to express myself this way. Yeah, it saved me understand my own feelings a little better. Reading is like magic. You're getting pretty passionate about this, huh? How would you keep it up? Yeah. Reading's the best. I'm gonna keep writing until I die. <laughs> Don't get ahead of yourself. So you always had a habit of getting obsessed with something before dropping in no more than two weeks later. Or three. I wonder if this is one of those times. But seeing the passion in here has makes it tough for me to be pessimistic. Well, only you're left. Uh, it's my turn. Let's see how it compares to yesterday. Hmm, I see. It's a bit different. I respect you for trying different things, Tester. Would you inspire my night to kiss bomb? Or say yours, perhaps? Well, I guess you could say that. I thought so. I'm happy for you. You don't need to find inspiration in my poems. I write them for myself. Not for everyone else. So I don't really need for people to like them or anything. Yuri. Eh? Sorry for being blunt, but you haven't thinking this a little. Just because your styles are different doesn't mean I dislike your poems. In fact, if I tried to do something in style, I would probably just do a terrible job. Uh, I see. I'm sorry. My stupid mind. He likes to do that sometimes. Anyways. You don't need to be afraid of something more than daring. But that doesn't go a long way. Don't feel like you need to work your brain like in a bunch of gears. Try letting your mind wander to your feelings. And write something that you think to see in here and shit. That's one way to truly enable the reading to see into your mind. 
It's very intimate exercise. I see. <laughs> That's an totally interesting technique. Thanks for sharing. I have um, well, an example if you like to read it. Of course. It's the poem you wrote today. You're nuts. And Timely hands me her poem. Oh, sure. The raccoon happening in the dead of the night while I was last brain with my guilty sack. The tension was caught by the scattering of a raccoon outside my windows. That was, I believe, the first my knowledge of strange tendency in my wandering human. I had a raccoon a piece of brain. The subconscious was well aware of the consequences. What about a raccoon that is fair will always be back for more? The interesting beauty of the cotton knife was the symptom. The bread, my hug and curiosity. The raccoon, nurge. The morning came into space and the reflects that much more light off the cutting knife. The very same light that glitched the glist in the eyes of my raccoon ring. Sliced bread, freezes up, the raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps, smelly projecting my emotions into the newly satisfied animal. The raccoon... The, the, the raccoon has taken, has taken to follow me. You could say that I've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I bring I bring my scum, the raccoon shows it's scamming. Fresh blood, classic, full of my condition. Slice the bread, and I feed myself again. Did you fucking... I was doing more thing with this one than yesterday. Did you fucking kill the raccoon? Is that, is that the whole thing? I didn't get it. Like, if you end up feeding yourself again, then you probably would like, fuck you, raccoon, and you killed a fucking raccoon. Why would you kill a fucking raccoon, you piece of shit? Don't worry, I'm not calling you a piece of shit. She didn't kill the raccoon, of course. Japan doesn't have raccoons. They have tanukis. They're completely different. <laughs> it's a lot more metaphorical, this got this thing. I don't know if it's my fault, but I can begin to wonder. I didn't even click. That's right. It's a bit closer to my preferred writing style. Given the point as a canvas to express human imagery and convey emotions through them. Yeah, if I take it at face value, then I can even figure out what it's supposed to mean. Well, there are something that different people can relate in their own way. I want to express the way it feels for me to indulge in more unusual hobbies. It's the sort of thing I'm usually forced to keep to myself. So I don't enjoy writing about them. Oh, huh, that's funny. What? Huh? Let's go to write something about that. About someone being regular girl for a strange interest. <laughs> eh? She, she did? Yeah. She's talking about how it doesn't matter what you're into as long as you're not hurting anybody. She, she's right. Uh, I mean... Does she really feel that way? Yeah. So they do have a plan in common. Well, that's interesting. To me, it just seems like the kind of person who would make fun of my hobbies. Where is the post is my fault for George and say? Uh, please don't tell her I say that. I uh, don't worry. I have no reason to. Okay. Well, thanks for sharing with me. After all, I learned to embrace my own weirdness. I would be probably hide myself. I might be running a little bit now. I'm trying to have that you're good and listen. Okay, one. We're well, all running in each other's farm, right? Something else happened today. So if I would come to sit in the front of the room. Is that about the festival? Well, sort of. Ugh, do we really want to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good in the last few days. We'll just end up embarrassing ourselves without getting any new members. That's a concern of mine as well. I don't really, I don't really do it well with last minute preparations. Don't worry so much. We're going to keep it simple, okay? We won't need much more than a few decorations. There has been walking on posters, and I'm testing designed some pamphlets we can give out during the event. Okay, that's great and all. But that doesn't tell us what we're actually going to be doing for the event. Ah, sorry. I thought you heard about it already. We're going to be performing. Performing? P um, Monica. You're going to have a private performance. Each of us are going to just perform to visit during the event. The cult package is also going to let everyone else come up and recite poems too. Just being in all the posting in case anyone wants to prepare ahead of time. <laughs> so he's been, been calling a poster, hot it up for us to see. You're kidding me, Monica. You didn't, you didn't already start putting those posters up, did you? Eh, uh, well, I did. Do you really think it's that bad of a, an idea? Well, no. It's not a bad idea. But if it signed up for this, you know? There is no way I'm going to be performing in front of a group of people like that. I, I agree with Natsuki. Could never in my life do something like that. Imagine it. Here we should imagine it. Jewish exercise had in fear. 
guys? No, Sayori. I understand where they're coming from. And it's taking you have shared their points with anyone till just a couple of days ago. It's a lot of us from them to reset the poems allowed to a whole room full of people. He isn't gonna have overlooked that. So I'm sorry. But seems like we should keep it our best. We're the only one responsible for the video of this club. If we start the event and each and each put a good performance, then it will inspire us all to do the same. The more people who perform, the better we'll be able to show up everybody about what the church is about. Yeah! It's about expressing yourself, being intimate with yourself, finding new horizons, and having fun. That's right. And it's those reasons that we are in this club today. Did you want to share that with Honor? Did you manage to find the same feeling you brought here in the first place? I know you do. I know we all do. And if you don't, others take you standing in front of a room with two minutes of resigning a poem, then you know you can do it. Yeah, can you remain silent? Sorry, looks weird. Looks just worried, not weird. I guess this means no choice. I agree. I don't think it's too much to ask. I think that's a year Monica have been doing really hard to get new members. This we can do is help them out a little bit. Well, maybe, but. She doesn't have any arguments left. Uh. Okay, fine. I guess I'll just have to get over it. Alright! <sighs> Thanks, Natsuki. What about you, Jure? You would just because of our own, never one else's explanations. <sighs> guess you don't really have a choice. Uh, that's everyone. You're the best, Yuri. This is seriously going to be the death of me. Oh gosh. You'll be fine, Yuri. But anyways, let's move into the main event. I want each of you to choose a poem of yours. We're going to purchase for sending me a phone of all each other. No wait, Monica! This is too sudden! Well, if you're gonna reset your poem in front of the cup. How do you expect it to f perform in front of strangers? Oh no. Don't worry. I start off by having everyone feel, feel a little bit more comfortable. Can I go next? <sighs> of course. Now let's see. Well, if he's doing notebooks, a specific one she has in mind for, for herself. They just stands behind the podium. The of this point is the way they fly. And Monica begins reciting her poem. Here, clear, confident voices fills the room. Well, not that. And there is percent. She knows exactly what to apply emotions behind each line from sights, bring the words to life. Something she's done before, or is it simply natural? I glance around me. Everyone has their eyes on Monica. Sure, he looks amazed. She has an intense expression of face that I do not understand. Funny, Monica finishes her recitation. The force of Osopla. And Monica tears a bright and smiles. That was so good, Monica! Uh, thank you very much. I was just hoping you see a good example. You ready to go next, Ari? Uh, uh, next. Ah, you were fired up all of a sudden. She clutches a sheet of paper between her hands and stands up. Here, her head down, she walks quickly over to the podium. The poem is called. Yuri anxiously glances uh, to each other. She could do it, Yuri. This is called Aftermath of Crimson Eye. Oh shit, is, gonna, is, is, is your poem gonna skip time? She both shakes as she starts reading the poem. Just a moment ago, she just badly refused to do it. Why is she suddenly putting in so much effort? As Yuri gets past the first couple of lines, her voice changes. But like what happens when you get some sound to her books. The crawling was to point to the sharp silvers of fierce and confident woman. The poem is full of twists and turns in its structure, she enunciates with wild performing time. This must be a rare glimpse of in into the willing fire Yuri keeps concealed inside her head. Suddenly, she's finished. Everyone is stunned. Yuri steps back into reality <laughs> and glances around her, and she's the will there even herself. I it's up to me to save the situation, and to face to start applauding. But just me after one, and we give you the recognition she deserves. Not that we didn't applaud for her, but we were kind of so off guard that we must have forgotten. Oh my god, this is so long. As we applaud, she holds the woman to her chest and rushes back to her seat. Yuri, that was good. Thank you for sharing. Like Yuri is down for cold. Okay, give him next thing. She hops out of her chain and cheerfully walks into the, to the body. The one's called May Meadow. Ah. Uh -huh. Sorry, Giggle. <laughs> Sorry? So I haven't been a dad. You can do it so easily. Uh, don't think that like you're reacting to other people, but you're reciting it, reciting it to yourself, like in front of a mirror or in your own head. It's your poem, so it'll come out that way, best that way. I see, I see. Okay, then. 
So we're beginning to point so feels feels like her sub voice was made as a perfect match. But his name is the cheer like say yours is. It's a random bit of sweet. If I were to read this on paper, but I wouldn't think much of it. Being it comes from Shiro's bottom of the game is that gives it a whole new meaning. Maybe that's what Sayori meant when she said she likes my poems. I get to reach more deeply into some someone I thought I knew a true and true. So finish this and we applaud. I did it! Good job, Sayori. E even Tester like it. I guess that's a good sign. I actually hated it. What does that mean? This came out nicely, Sayori. That was the other part of it really well. Wait, well, maybe the other ponies wouldn't work quite as well with the kind of delivery. Eh? I don't really understand. He was... She points of use the word sort of gentle delivery wouldn't work as well. I made a little more force be behind them, depending on what you're reading. Oh, I know what you mean. That's why I've been practicing this kind of thing. Just embarrassing to do in front of everyone. Eh? <laughs> Next time, I'm going to make you pick up one with it. Challenges you a little more. Hold it. <coughs> Wonder how much time before the festival, you know? Okay! Yeah, who's next? Natsuki? Hmm... Don't make me go before this, though. I'm gonna do you guys anyway. My ability is to lower one sentence a little, a little before I had to do it. Natsuki! It's fine, it's fine. Might as well get over with. It's not like I have much of a selection of what to do. It. So I have to go with a brother today. Then I'm gonna step in front of the podium. Me, making me feel terribly awkward. I've had my poem. I have no extremely confident in my own, it's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I save applause any and applause anyway. So I'm not really good as everyone else. Don't worry about it so much. I think it's less about your abilities and more about your lack of confidence in your writing. It's something to tell me for a long time though. Yeah, maybe. Alright then. Just leave you, Natsuki. Y yeah, I'm going. Natsuki Brian. <laughs> The good she she goes to the podium, okay? The frame is called it's called Why are you looking at me? Because you're presenting. <laughs> it's called Jump. It's just a bridge. When you start presenting the podium, his attitude disappears a little. He's a little on the head and the form is a rhythm has a rhythm and a, a, a rhythm and a rhyme to it. The Zuki stream and stack and it was surprising when it's spoken out loud. The words feel like they bounce up and down, as if they give me like to the poem. The Tsuki finishes, and even applauds. She hops back to her seat. That was so bad about it. Easy for you to say. You better not make me do that again. Ah oh, well. Do at least feel prepared enough to recite the poem for the other people? I mean, doing it for the other people will be easier. I can put on whatever face I want for other people. But it's just my friends. Just embarrassing. That's surprise, the Tsuki. I think it will be the other way around for me. Is that how, that's just how it is, so. Well, I guess in that case. You had much to worry about in the festival. That's it. I want to thank everyone for coming through. Very hard, but I hope that you all have an idea of what it's like now. Make sure you pick a poem and get enough practice before the festival, okay? Now I'm making pamphlets, so let me know ahead of time if you will be resigning. Jeez. I should probably find some other poem to resign instead. That's fine, too. It doesn't have to be your own. I really pleasantly surprised that you're putting in all this effort on the cloud. It makes me really happy. Ah, oh, yeah, no problem. Okay, everyone. I think it's about it for today. Another festival's coming up. But let's write a, a poem for tomorrow as well. We've been working out really nice this far, so I'd like to continue that. But for the first we're pretty fine tomorrow. About the weekend to prepare. Monday's the big day. I can't wait. I can do this, I can do this. Alright. Hey, stand up. There's no way I'll be able to find some interesting some in Sayori, as Sayori and Monica, but I'll do my best to get through it. If it's for the sake of the club, and impressing Monica, then I'll have to do my best. Ready to go, Sayori? Yep! Not you always going up together like that? It's kind of adorable, isn't it? <laughs> Jeez, guys. Don't make me such a big deal of it. Must be a little nice, though. Well, um, how am I supposed to respond to that? Get this too. You don't have to say it. Well, but let's just go already. Yeah, please. Finish the damn day. This is gonna take forever to upload. <laughs> but humble Sayuri once more. Even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have recently changed. But today, Sayuri is being a little quieter than the usual on your way home. Hey, Sayuri. 
Show us, please. Yeah. Ah, uh, no wonder. Um, I was thinking about something from earlier. I like how, how we get to. I mean, so far was with her words. Did you say that one day it took you us to walk home with me? To, uh, to, us to walk home with you, huh? What would you do? What kind of question is that? Kind of putting me in the spot there. <laughs> well, oh, this is what she means. So I'm a savior. I'm a savior. Yeah. I would buy home in a tuki. Buy home in a tuki, huh? What does she have to tell me again? My help, bro. I mean, I think I would be afraid of what she'd do to me if I turned her down. And she's so cute and fun to be around. There's nothing to do with what I just said. Uh, you admitted it. Jeez. No am at any point in speculating someone that's never going to happen. Well, maybe. But I just like to think about it. Not long before you won't need me anymore, you know? Need you? So you're ready. You can figure out. You can't figure out how you're seeing things in your head right now. Sorry. Everyone is different. Nobody in the club is a replacement for you. Huh? You say so? She just throws off and I'm left feeling awkward. But it was kind of her fault for trapping me with such a weird question. You can just lie there. But if it's if there's something that makes her happy, I hate to take it away from her. That's why I said there's no point in speculating. Then again, the vice the world is only a few days away. Who knows what will happen in that time? Am I uh I'm gonna skip the making the poem now, there's not much to commentate here. So you guys uh, probably I'm gonna fast forward this probably I'm not even gonna put it. Okay, here we go. Mouse. Enable. Oh shit. Got on feet. Sorry. Essence comes in the lazy. Shit. Um that me with my short side gene color. Fuck. Kawaii. Uh fuck. Hope. Uh Sticky. Give us points. <laughs> Perfect. Have you? Milk. Swiss and Polish. I did the phone for Natsuki Sayori. Anyways, we're gonna leave this over here. Totally. Yeah, I should have left it before the phone. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this episode, I guess you can like leave a like and subscribe to the channel, and maybe more people will watch this than last time. Last time I didn't, I didn't get much views, sadly. Eh, slowly getting there. Anyways, thank you guys, and see you next time. See you soon. Bye. I think. <laughs>